Hello and welcome or welcome back. My name is V and this is the next episode of our adventures in Azeroth, even though ironically enough we are no longer in Azeroth as we are currently in Zangermash doing the Burning Crusade story as well as we can the old ways. Neon, welcome back. Hi, welcome in everyone. Thanks again for all the support in the video. We've just, uh, do you want to tell them what we just did, V? I don't know if you like it. Well, sure, yeah. It's, a, it's probably not a spoiler anymore because I'm going to guess that that video is already out there. But we've just finished watching the Harbingers animated series. And wow, I, I really needed to see these again because I haven't seen them in, in a few years. And it was the very first time for Neon to, to see these animations. Yeah, we were, we, like, I'm on a bit of a high from it because I now get a bit more juicy use from the law. I learned a bit about Khadgar and Gul'dan and uh, yeah, it was uh, an Illidan and um, really, really, really sets the, the tone of the game a bit more for me now because now I know kind of like I, I, I just feel, I feel like I know a bit more about the world now. It's been built a bit better for me now. It's been world building, you know? I think it's I think they're lovely and I'm glad that we watched them and that there are no technically spoilers uh, for you uh, apart from just obvious world building that you already know through the World of Warcraft movie and yeah. all these other things. So I'm happy that we got to watch them. And over time, I want to believe that the Burning Crusade as a whole will uh, start to make a lot of sense. And I am excited to go through uh, zones past Zangermash as well, because guess what? I've never done them. I have gone through you know, some zones where I was doing some mount hunting, some reputations and whatnot, but I've never done the actual story exploration the way Neon and I are doing it together. So I'm excited for that and you if you happen to be new here make sure to subscribe so you know where to come back check out the pinned comment for our playthrough so far and do leave a like on the video even though you haven't seen it yet because we're awesome <laughs> <laughs> no seriously uh, leave a like on the video subscribe and double check up that that notification bell icon whatever the bell icon notification Check it because uh, I think uh, I think YouTube likes to be really weird with like the whole um, notification thing. Just double check it's on. Do it now. Did it? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go play. <laughs> there is a quest to I think hand in. No, to do. We already did oh. hand in everything. The no, the, yeah. So there's a quest active then, all the way to the far west, called observing the spallings. Yes, that we haven't done yet. We haven't done that yet. Are yeah. we going to wait for a bit later? Or should we get that done now just to do it? Or, or mm, what? I'd personally like to take this quest and see where we're going to get sent. I'm assuming that Talrador is where we are going to end up. But um, if, if my memory serves me, because it's the only remaining zone that I did from the from this expansion and then I, th I think we will we will be sent here at some point or when we run out of quests and when we're a little bit closer we can go there i do remember that this one is a bit notorious for sending you back and forth uh, so i okay. would like to try and optimize it a little bit so that we don't fly from here to there and back and mm -hmm. forth a lot of the times but uh, also I think it's understandable because this this was WoW's baby at the time and they really did try uh, hard a lot with this zone. It is quite beautiful and I think that they really gave uh, give you like a like a tourist attraction here, like a real tour, you know, through this beautiful zone and they really kind of want to show it off. So I think that, that that's why there are quite a few of these quests that, you know, keep sending you back and forth just to be like, hey, this is what we made. Check a check ch check a look. This is what I was going to say. Take a look. Check it out. <laughs> anyway. Check, check a look. Check a look, yeah. Perfect, V. Uh, Good job. Would you like me, do you want to read this one, or shall I read this one? Uh, I can read, sure. Sure. Yeah. The Scenarian Expedition has become a large organization with a good degree of autonomy. These events are important enough that we need to warn the Scenarian Circle. Do not worry. I will not ask you to travel back to Moonglade. We have emissaries as nearby as Hellfire Peninsula. <laughs> I actually have been thinking a lot about how we read the quests and I think that there might be something that we can do to just always make it easier uh, for uh, both of us. Uh, how about we okay. just keep it um, simple if you agree and when there's a girl character I read it, when there's a dude you read it. That that way we'll always know who's going to read the quests because we've been struggling a little bit with that. Sorry chat. We could try that. If, you, if you're up for it. Sure. We can try that. 
They might just pay a load of mills in one go. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Um, so it's all the way to the east now. Yes. Shall uh, we head there now, or do you want to go to collect more quests first? I'd like to, uh, well, since we don't have any more here, I'd like to do that one and see what happens. Then maybe we okay. do end up in the west. Funny you should say. Uh, uh, funny you should say that there might be a bunch of dudes, uh, since this is a night elf, and night elves are kind of notorious for, you know, the important people, quest givers, whatever else, uh, mostly being women. <laughs> uh, uh, are you? Uh, where are you actually? Oh, okay. I'm coming. <laughs> was I going the wrong way? Or no, no, no. Did I misunderstand? No, I just didn't see you in the, uh, on the map. But I am trying to find you a little bit. Okay, you should be here somewhere. Uh, you should see a moon. Oh, sorry, uh, yes, perfect. Great. Yes. You see me now. I, I see you on the mini map. Uh, I'll just wait. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I'm excited for this today. I, I know that we don't have a lot of time. And I know that, you know, maybe it doesn't look uh, like we don't have a lot of time because I do try to upload these videos at least two or three times a week. But at the same time, it uh, it is a luxury for us to be able to play like this. So thank you for joining us on our adventures as well. Okay, Mr. Girl. <laughs> The news you bring about the Naga activity in Zangarash is dire. Yasel was wise in sending word to us. She hasn't forgotten that the expedition cannot exist without the Circle's support. Return to Yasel and let her know that help will be extended to her as soon as it is possible. Affairs in Moonglade and Silithus have kept our members occupied, but we will do our best to send the necessary resources to the Cenarian refugee. Is it refugee or refuge? Refuge. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I just, I thought I was saying it wrong. No, I was. So we're going back now. Mm-hmm. That's fine. You... It's kind of nice to just take that small little dip back into Hellfire Peninsula. Mm. The reason why I think it's kind of nice is because they allow you to feel like you're not trapped in a zone but instead it's just like oh yeah we forgot this or that and it just gives you a little bit of that imperfection slash immersion and you feel like okay so this is still a part of the region where i'm generally in and it reminds you constantly of how the other zones are doing as well and the first next time that i felt they did that was ironically shadowlands which is not uh, not not the most favorite expansion but uh I personally really did enjoy the story. Anyhow, you are a welcome sight. Matters at the Scenarian Refuge have only gotten worse since you left. I was there two minutes ago, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Uh, I unfortunately, well, unfortunately have this achievement already. So that's probably the second uh, sub-achievement actually out of, I don't know, seven or eight or however much we have. Would you like to do the two quests on the south of the map, just those two random ones, or do you want to go straight to Telrador? The interesting thing about them is that they are actually a part of Nagrand, which is a zone underneath us. So if you click on the map of Nagrand... Oh, um, I, oh, oh my god, yeah. Mm. So they're not a part of this. We do have the quest okay. to the west, which I think we could do. As we've already started that zone, and then we can go and take uh, another set of quests. Maybe we can leave Talrador for later, because there's a, a ton of quests there, and we've already started this. So if you want, we can go west and finish it up. A quest to the west? Do you, which one do you mean? Do you mean observing the Spallings, or do you mean the Spallings plight? Both. Oh, okay. So shall we um, go to observing the Spallings, just because... It's already active? Yeah, sure. Sure. There is something um, I, that I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. No, it's okay. No, no, you, you, you started talking. I can ask. My, my question can wait. Uh, ask the question. You, you might. <laughs> okay. I would like to ask, um, and forgive me for not remembering. Oh, yeah. I think they're called Fen Riders or, or, or something, aren't they? Is that similar to the zone in Hellfire Peninsula with the Fell Reavers? Or are they just something else altogether? Uh, I believe that scary. they are something else. This is more of a nature corrupted kind of zone. Oh. The, not as affected by fell because uh, this zone uh, was not, to my knowledge, not as populated by orcs. So this is uh, pretty much a remnant of how 
uh, things used to be and considering that not a lot of orcs with their fell energies resided here the zone was largely untouched but due to all the demonic energies and corruptions and whatnot uh, the effect has spilled over into this zone in a bit of a different kind of way uh, and uh, with a different I guess purpose since now there's Naga here draining the water and whatnot and when it comes to Naga, uh, I'm actually really excited to watch the Warbringer series with you as you will learn oh. more about their queen. So that's why I want to watch these as soon as possible, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, whenever we have the time, so that you learn who their queen is and why Naga are the way they are. Because Naga didn't used to be Naga. No spoilers, I'll wait until tomorrow or next week or whenever we watch it. But uh, they also have a history. So you'll learn what's actually corrupted this zone as well. I do have to say one thing about this game. Um, there's a charm about this game that I feel like MMOs don't do. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate just while we've got 600 yards to go. But I love the low quality a graphic of this MMO because it means that yes it's low quality it still looks nice um and it's got that charm to it but then also it's got this great thing where you know you don't get the load screens this seamless load zones this uh flying so sky high like really high up like it's amazing what do you think about this region this is a beautiful uh we're just looking for this quest now aren't we so we've observed it. Our quest was to investigate it, oh, to see okay. essentially what's happened, and now to go back and to report. Do you want to pick up the 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 other quests first, or do you want to just go back and report for now? Because uh, we can pick it up. Sure. Uh, I oh, think okay. it should be on the uh, like on the floor. I. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't see it, but it should be around here somewhere. What I find really beautiful oh. about World of Warcraft, especially these kinds of zones, is that even when something is uh, clearly problematic and corrupted and whatnot, they still manage to make it look beautiful. It's not disgusting or anything. There's still an aesthetic to it, like with fell or with this kind of corruption or whatever. It still looks really nice. Observing the sporlings. What? The bog lords of Quag Ridge are eating the sporlings pods? This isn't good. I was wondering why the bog lords were crossing the road to go to the spawning glen. They must be starving for some reason. This will just not do. I mean, normally I wouldn't get involved, but if they continue to eat all of the sporlings paws, they will wipe them out. Here's what we'll do. I'll stay here and you head to the Quag Ridge to the east and look for dietary clues as to why they're raiding the sporlings. Uh, what I wanted to say is I wanted to ask you how you feel about the story so far and if you would like me to maybe uh, give you like a small reminder or a recap on what's happened in Hellfire Peninsula and and how it's settling for you so far because I know it's not MSQ and you know some people might find it confusing and maybe it's uh, it's a good idea to touch on that for someone who's watching and who's never played World of Warcraft remarkably. <laughs> Um, I would like that, but there is a quest right here that seems to be, I'm guessing, underwater or above us because there's a quest literally right here and I can't see it. Um, and maybe when we're, oh my god, the sky, this blue and purple, by the way, oh my god. Spoilings plight. Um, this could, I don't, I don't. I s do you see it? It's not just me. Yes, is it? I see it. It is definitely not just you. So it is fairly curious. Oh, I think I see it. You have to like go all the way up to be able to see it oh. on the map. And I think it's down. It might not show it super correctly on the map, but it's oh there he is. He's walking. That's why we don't see him. Wow. Uh, he's right next to me. Oh, There's a little guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so once we're doing like a fighting and picking up things, maybe then you can go over some of the details. Yeah, of the course. Zone. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. I like to do things while we're doing things. Go ahead. Uh, the bog lords are devouring the spore sacks. 
they've got to be stopped. Why did so I assume it's a guy? But <laughs> just, just, well, it sounds for sure. For sure. Um, uh, do we do both? Sure. Yeah, why not? So I'll do the Spalding's yeah. play first. You there, you must help us. The fungal giants are devouring all of our spore sacks. You must do something, or we'll lose our young. The source, the spore sacks out. Oh god, this is a mouthful. The spore sacks start out large and become smaller as the air inside them is depleted. Look for the small, mature spore sacks and save as many of them as you can. All right, and then another one. Natural enemies. Us spawlings have bog lords. Us spawlings and the bog lords have never gotten along well. In the past, we've managed to keep them at bay with spears and stones. Lately, they seem to have become more aggressive or more desperate. They do not fear us or our weapons. You are much scarier and better armed than <laughs> us. If you were to... <laughs> I'm not kidding. If you were to fight the bog lords for us, we'd be forever in your debt. Bring me their tendrils so I know how many you've killed. What if a bog lord has multiple tendrils and you just bring him six <laughs> from know. one particular one? <laughs> You'd never know. Um, which quest would you like to start with first, my lovely? Uh, we can do those two, or we go... Uh, okay. Do you know Let's what? Do Let's do those two, okay. but if you click on quest number, for me it's two, natural enemies, it also expands to that area where the discarded nutriments are, uh, yeah. to a right. So maybe we can go there and do both of these, and then come back to get the other one. Starving fungal giant, he sounds healthy. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I don't okay. know. Where are you? Um, I'm going to get me. Is there something I missed? That's where I don't see you, though. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> no yeah, but what, what did you want me to do? Um, I was wondering if you'd like to go to the uh, to the the previous quest. So this uh, question of gluttony. Because one of our quests, which is Natural oh, Enemies, sorry. it also has a zone there. So in order oh, to sorry. not drag this quest... No worries, no worries. In order That's to okay. just not drag That's it okay. with us, no worries. We can we can maybe do that. No, I sorry. I thought you were saying to want to do those two together, and then I thought that's what we agreed on. My bad. <laughs> no worries. It's, it's fine. I, I mean, exploring the zone is oh. worth it in itself. There's a bog lord we need though, right here. Uh, is it? Bog yes. Lord. Uh, yes, there is. That is actually the one. So let's try and pull it so that we don't pull the all the other ones. Maybe this one sure. is is fine. Okay, hello. There's also another bog lord we can fight right next to us. I almost said to this one, hello and welcome or welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, down. that's actually fine. They're not too... Did you kill that? I did. went down very quick. Yeah, not much of a lord, is he? But that's also not our quest for some reason. Um, because I, I suspected that it isn't because of the oh Boggler tendrils. Never mind. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. Not me admitting that. But uh, <laughs> we can continue now if you want. Oh no, actually we don't need to look. We need to kill a fungal giant. Oh no, we don't. We can maybe grab this load. Do you see this? Oh, but we we're still gonna end up killing him because he's yeah, right there. Yeah, we have so. to because he's uh, patrolling. Thought he's dying in one hit though. Another bog lord in front. Oh my god, this is bog central. I'm out of range. What's actually really funny is that uh, bog, the way it's spelled in my native language, actually means god. So, technically, if I was to translate it in my language, it would mean the Lord of Gods. Um, V. Yes. <laughs> in England, we have a term for bog as well. What's a bog in England? If someone went, oh, I'm off to the bog, it's uh, the toilet. <laughs> I s so, um, we have very different gods, <laughs> let's just say that. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, um, yeah, these are not, um, we can't both pick them up. So I am going to okay. walk away for the time being and oh, hope wow. for the best. Okay. <laughs> Do you need healing or a shield or something? I'll throw you a, a heal that you don't need. <laughs> Do you want to pick yours up first and then, then I'll be fine with mine? Uh, no, no. I'm not a priority. You're always a priority. And there's one just to, just to the north there. Do you see it? There's two of them to the north. Yes. You're going to get them ones, lovely. You are too kind. 
Don't worry about me killing. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm there. I'm there to help. What do you mean? Uh, there's, also some, there's also one here. I'll grab this one, though. So now I'm at um, three, three, I'm presuming. Mm-hmm. There's two there for you, isn't there? Mm, there is one, but you grab another one if you no, saw no, it. There's another one right next to you, look. Oh, grab it. I'm behind you. No, no, behind you. It's behind you. Oh, where? Yeah, I picked it up. I think I picked no. it up. Okay. Oh. I'm going to show you where it is because you don't see it. I... What? Do you see this one over here? Oh. Oh. Right. The one that's, you know, behind you. Right. Yeah, then, then I'll get these two. Okay. So I'm now at four out of six, I think. <coughs> so a bit unrelated, but this is, oh, yeah. at the end of the day, our time together, and uh, doesn't really matter that we're recording. Um, I just wanted to ask you, since you were doing uh, the Final Fantasy IX uh, speedruns today, um, how yeah. you feel about them and about learning the speedrun in general? Uh, well, we got onto disc two out of disc uh, out of four discs, so that was nice. Um, I had a lot of fun today doing doing Final Fantasy Nine. Uh, obviously, it's nice to keep myself occupied until my Final Fantasy Seven discs get back. But it's really exciting to learn a new run again, you know, and uh, to dive in. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, of course. You looked like you were having fun. Mm, it was a lot of fun to be fair and um, I'm kind of yoloing a lot of this stuff because I'm like oh my god am I doing things right is this how you do it <laughs> but it's fun I think I'll pick up on a lot more things eventually I didn't um, watch the full run because obviously spoilers for me uh, past this one but it was it was fun um so while we're fighting here, would you like to talk about um, Hellfire Peninsula? Um, sure, yeah. So when it comes to Hellfire Peninsula, uh, it's an introductory zone, essentially. Uh, and for those of you who might be tuning in to our Zangarmash playthrough, essentially, for the first time and who don't want to go to Hellfire Peninsula because Hellfire Peninsula, it's a... Uh, Really nice zone uh, that is, well, nice in a way that, uh, that it's lore filled and has a lot of, well, carries a lot of meaning, I guess, uh, for the entirety of the Burning Crusade. So forgive me the if you. Crusade. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yes, crusade. yes, the sorry, Burning my, Crusade my in general. Smells. No sorry, worries, no worries. Smells. That's okay. Uh, what I was going to say is. Forgive me if you are a lore geek and if you're watching this and I'm saying the wrong things and you are seeing me teach Neon Holder wrong, but this is just uh, something that is coming out of my memory and I'm hoping to give the info in the best possible way that I can. So when it comes to the Burning Crusade and the Hellfire Peninsula in general, uh, Hellfire Peninsula used to be... Uh, essentially uh, the home of uh, uh, orcs and, uh, and Drenai as well. Uh, and you can see the remnants of this home in a way that you see the Drenai who still live here and who are still fighting the demons. And you can still see that there are some of uh, some orcs uh, living here as well. Unfortunately, a lot of them being corrupted because the ones that have stuck around uh, they eventually uh, kind of succumbed to these forces and became uh, corrupted by demonic energies, and now they are considered pretty much enemies to everyone. So, the point of this zone is that in into the in this zone there is a, a group of people which we've met at our uh, let's call it a stronghold in Hellfire Peninsula. And they are an expedition uh, that arrived to Hellfire Peninsula essentially to combat the threat, to, to in a way, in a, in a strange, funny little way, do what uh, Illidan would have done. So basically to attack the threat from the other side so that they don't come to Azeroth and invade. 
So some of these people came here and they did not expect to stay, right? It's this this stay has been uh, overdue, and there have been some things that happened that made them unable to leave. Whether it's uh, I don't know portal mal malfunctioning or you know something went wrong. I I don't actually remember, even though I did listen to this uh, this audio book. Uh, something did happen and they were unable to go back to the other side. So they were like, fuck it, we're just going to stay here and we are going to essentially uh, fight until we die. So it was an expedition, but they had to create a life for themselves in Hellfire Peninsula. And this is what they've been doing for years and years and years until we've arrived. So we essentially... Mm, not not sure how we got the portal to work, but we made it work, and I'm not sure why they're not going through that portal, and we are, but do you know how in Final Fantasy we can use the etherite that is built everywhere, but nobody else seems to be able to do it? By the mm. way, would you like to go and uh, do... I still need a bog Yeah, I'm me sorry. too, me too. Um, so I'm, I'm too tender. It's a bog one. Short. Yes, perfect. So essentially, they made a stronghold here, and they're like, okay, so we can't go back, but we're going to stay here and fight. So they spent years with no contact, uh, just waiting for help, essentially. And the help has finally arrived, so we are the help, and we are here to combat not just orcs and the horde, but also demons, which is kind of... A, a mutual threat for both the Horde and the Alliance. So uh, our time in Hellfire Peninsula is essentially us, uh, us battling demons uh, together. Because demons are the ones that is essentially inv invaded uh, this world through orcs. So what you were able to learn a little bit through the World of Warcraft movie, as well as uh, through maybe through Harbingers that we've just watched uh, as well, you saw that orcs uh, technically are not, uh, well, didn't start as the real enemy of what used to be Alliance, because Alliance didn't exist until Horde started existing. So Alliance was formed when, uh, you know, essentially it was necessary for Alliance to um, to form. So uh, I have uh, enough items, yes, but I also have a full inventory. Uh, so, so sorry. Right. So let's have... go to the NPC. I'm right here. Should we sell? Oh, okay. So you um, can... When you get there, you can start reading maybe, and I'll oh, okay, sell when okay. I get to you. Sure. I'm already at the NPC, oh, I Oh, sorry. That's all right. Uh, I will then fly there. So, so the story, in essence, goes... The Alliance in itself didn't exist until there was the Horde. So they call themselves the Horde, and Alliance was created as a response to the Horde. And... Alliance essentially would have never existed if there wasn't for these demonic energies this that way. corrupted. This uh, way. Oh, sorry. Uh, the corrupted orcs essentially through Gul'dan. Watcher. Okay. Um, I don't have. Can you do back boy just while you're reading, so then I can sell? Yes, okay. of course. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> okay. That's okay. So. Uh, traveling to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm be, sure, uh, be sure that you collect all of the evidence carefully. We are fitting the pieces of the giant puzzle together here. A mistake on your part could lead us to the wrong conclusions. No pressure. Then where would we be in our understanding of Zangramash's biology? Be sure that you collect all the evidence. Okay. This is what you found. That's odd. These husked mushroom remains are both unusual and somehow look familiar. I have to think on this a moment. Don't go anywhere. Um, okay. Yes, that is it. I knew I had seen this particular film of mushroom elsewhere in the marsh. To the north is a place known as the Hewn Bog. Odd name for the place if you ask me, but I've never been there. I'll need samples of those mushrooms to confirm my hypothesis. How do you know about them then? Interesting. Just be careful, priest, mage. I heard that ogres have moved into the area, so you'll have to get the samples from them. Could it be the? Could that be why the bug lords are no longer going there for their food? I would avoid uh, 
are uh, ogres too if I had to. Many, many wares. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit here. I think that there are some things that I actually want to wear. No worries, I think I've got some things. I'm just looking at some stuff as well. There's some upgrades for me. Bog Slayer Belt of the Fire Flash. Play at oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. Uh, um, would you like to do the sporlings plight first and get those mature um, spore sacks first? Um, I'm, um, I'm still selling, but I can, I can no come worries, back and no sell worries. in a bit. No, it's so okay. I, we can. S sorry, I just need a merman. You can also jump on the mount and maybe sell, and I can start walking towards there. I don't have to fly. Oh yeah. Can you, can you boot someone off? Yeah, I'll, there, I'll, the yeah, I'll transmog take guy. Yep. Okay, I'm on then. Okay. Uh, so, are there any, I don't know, questions or comments or anything, you know, that you wanted to, to ask regarding the uh, the peninsula that I... I no, um, can you, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the overarching story, a little bit of what's going on in the zone? I know that it's something to do with, um... You know, this draining of the pumping of the water, but I don't know much else yet. So, you don't really... Um, you don't really... Uh, well, we haven't le really learned much yet, and I wouldn't like to just, you know, spoil you the, the reasons for this or that uh, okay. happening. So, basically, there are there is a, a, a natural imbalance. So, this zone is a, has a lot to do with just basically nature not functioning the way it's supposed to be functioning. So, it's a little bit of a different vibe. No big orc enemies, but in essence, uh, the species of this zone interacting the way they're not supposed to be interacting so some of them you know hurting the other ones and whatnot and I think it's it's just a little bit of a I guess a rest for the eyes a uh, different kind of music and just overall a different mm, dif different zone different story I don't want to I don't want to spoil and say like okay so this is why this is happening or that is happening or how to help the whole zone um, I, th I think that it would be nice to just kind of you know go through this um, together sure but in essence uh, the corruption is spreading here too in different ways as well uh, the way you saw in Darkshore funnily enough when we were doing those quests, uh, Queen Ajara oh. actually made her appearance there, and these are oh. her soldiers. So she has something to do with Naga. A fun fact is that Naga uh, actually are a species that didn't used to exist up until then. They are actually corrupted night elves. Oh, really? Yes. So Naga used to be night elves. That's a little bit of a spoiler of, uh, of basically Queen Ajara's story. Uh, but everything will be explained uh, probably as soon as we watch her animation. Mm. Which I think will also be really fun. A lot of people will disagree with me essentially giving you this all this information because as you saw in the Harbingers, uh, this zone was uh, well this zone <laughs> this uh, this is cinematic these animes they were first presented in uh, just before uh, Legion uh, the expansion and uh, someone would argue that I needed to wait another probably two years until we get there for you to watch these things but I don't want to wait for two years for you to you know to see these bits of history of on Gul'dan and and the others essentially uh, by the way here we need to find mature spore sacks which which uh, would be on the floor and they look like this so basically oh, like yeah. these little mushrooms I'm out of three out of ten at the moment okay can we both pick them up can you pick up this no, one or does it disappear oh okay then unfortunately yeah. we have to separate Mm. I'll miss you. <laughs> How many are you at? Uh, three out of ten. I just got my fourth. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go my own way. Do things on my end. As per usual, story of our lives. Mm, right. <laughs> 
circumstances. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Right. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a uh, rag veil or something. I'm guessing that's herbalism. Yes, uh, what's interesting is that you can uh, pick up plants from these uh, fungal giants and whatnot if you do have herbalism. So some enemies you can kind of pick oh. from as plants grow on them. So if you had herbalism, you could have like picked plants from them. They're not valuable plants or anything, but they're just, you know, enemies that you can kill and then get plants off of them, which is kind of nice. What's also really cool about WoW in comparison to 14, for example, is that you don't have to switch into your, let's say, herbalism class or whatever. It's enough that your uh, character has yeah. it. And then, for example, if you're a skinner, which I used to do uh, along with leather working, you just have a skinning knife and you have a separate icon that when you kill an enemy, it appears. So, for example, for leather working, there was like a little leather symbol that uh, was showing me that I can uh, skin this enemy. And for herbalism, there is a, like, a, like a small icon uh, with flowers uh, indicating that once you kill the enemy that you can pick plant plants from them. So technically, it's not you switching the job. You're still a combat class and you can still do everything. You can just basically... M um, you can uh, get something out of these, uh, these enemies because I your character has, has chosen it. Yes? I have enough now, so I won't be stealing any more off you now. That's okay, I have 8 out of 10. I'm, uh... Okay, there's one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this zone. I find it really cozy. I like the tribal music. It's really nice. Yeah, me too. Oh, there's another one over here, V, and this is your last one. It's unguarded. Mm -hmm. Oh, just one enemy spawned, but it's fine. And I think I'm done. Um, I still need familiar fungi. I'm also done. Let's go do that one and then return because we can't. This is this is unescapable in this zone. I think the zone will often send us to this quest and then that quest to just see the whole zone. It's pretty. They deserved it. Let's you know, <laughs> let's honor it. Which one do you want to hand in? Sorry. Uh, let's go and do the familiar oh, fungi sorry. Uh, in the north. Oh, sorry. If you well, want. I didn't know it was actually north. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, you okay? Oh, yeah, accidentally dismount. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no worries. Um, so when it comes to our like progression, do you have like a particular format that we're gonna follow? So you already know which zone we're gonna do next, or are you just picking and choosing which ones you feel like doing, or are you just gonna tell? Are you gonna go with where the game just sends us? To be honest, I don't know because I've never gone past this zone, so much, yeah. this is a completely unfamiliar oh. territory. However, we've yeah. already received a quest that we're not doing just yet, but it's called mm -hmm. What's Wrong at Scenarian Thicket, and it says speak with one oh. of the druids at the Scenarian Thicket in Tarakar Forest. So Tarakar, uh, Tarakar Forest, Forest yeah. yeah, is another zone that I have visited because I was grinding a reputation there to, to get some mounts, but I've never actually quested there. I don't know the story and whatnot. So I don't... Mm -hmm. Are yeah. these enemies? Yeah. Oh, is that what we're doing? Okay. Yeah. It doesn't say, it just says... Uh, Be beware of ogres, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. So, I think the Terracar Forest is where we are supposed to go. And this is actually wonderful, because we can stick together and loot the same enemies. So, it's probably a good idea to, to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm going, but I have to tell you, I have always always wanted to quest in the nether storm and it's, oh. it's uh, like it's, it's a zone that i'm so so curious about and i am i am dying to see the quest line there and you'll just you're just gonna have to change your mindset when it comes to me questing uh, somewhere because it will be the first time in burning crusade uh, for me as well now, if you are watching this video, and if you're wondering how that is possible, uh, it's actually very simple. So if you don't know World of Warcraft too much, uh, the way lev the leveling experience used to work way long ago is, oh, I forgot to fight, is <laughs> basically uh, the levels were there to be leveled through, and your main goal 
if you are joining in the expansion that is in vanilla World of Warcraft is to basically level up. So what I did when I started my World of Warcraft journey is I started at level 1 in uh, Teldrassil, obviously, uh, as, a, as, as a night elf forever and always. Um, I started there, went to Darkshore, did a few zones, and it actually took me some time to get to Stormwind in the first place. And then I used the Heroes Board, or whatever it's called, to uh, get a quest for one of the zones. And I do believe that I went to Stranglethorn Vale, which is still one of my favorite zones. Stranglethorn Vale. Yes. Uh, it is I've heard of that mm -hmm. zone for some reason. It's a very, very, very interesting, beautiful zone, good story, good everything. I loved it there, and I think oh. that Loki, you would, you would have loved it as well. I have really good memories there. Some of them really... <laughs> That's the, um, the base game, right? Yes, that's the base game. I remember leveling there. I, re I was leveling in Felwood as well. Fun fact, way long um, ago, uh, zones had their separate levels. You couldn't just go to any zone because some of no. the zones were like level 10 to 15, 15 to 20, mm -hmm. 25 to 30. So when you le reach level 20 and you are in a certain zone, you have a choice. You can finish the quest in a zone or you can be like, okay, so what's my le next level 20 zone or whatever, or 25. So you go back to the hero's board and you search for a zone where, you know, these quests will be of the you know, appropriate level and whatnot. So I did a few of these zones and eventually when I reached level, I believe that was 58 or 59, uh, chat correct me if I'm wrong, but a quest pops up and basically you get yourself into Burning Crusade. So, uh, by just actually doing the pre quest for the, you know, for the portal and whatnot, the portal opens, you're suddenly here. So what I did is I went through the uh, Burning, uh, I'm sorry, I went through Hellfire Peninsula and I believe, since I was also doing dungeons, uh, that was quite enough for me to reach level, I believe it was level 70, that you had to be back in the day to get to Wrath of the Lich King. So after one expansion and probably many, many dungeons that I was queuing for, after one, sorry, after one zone and dungeons, I was able to get to level 70. Uh, I have 49 or 15, I'm getting there. I was able to leave this uh, this uh, expansion and basically go into Wrath of the Lich King. So I did a little bit of questing there, didn't experience Wrath of the Lich King in full, but uh, a couple of years uh, down the line I went back into uh, into the Burning Crusade and I got, uh, I, I actually finished Zangarmash on a different character, I believe not on my main, as I was trying to both level and learn a little bit about the story. So this is actually my more recent zone that I remember a little bit better than Hellfire Peninsula, uh, but uh, still the last zone that I've ever completed. So it would be very exciting for me to go and to learn the, the rest of the story of the Burning Crusade. Unfortunately, no cutscenes because this was, what, 2008 or something like that. And I'm sorry, but for 2008, these graphics are actually kind of wild. So I'm not, I'm not sure which year it is. 2008, 2009, I don't know, 2007 oh, maybe. Game? Yeah, Burning Crusade, this expansion. Oh. This expansion. Oh, Burning Crusade. Yes. Um, the best game of this game came out in... Um, don't quote me, I think it's like 2005 or something, 2006. 2004, says, 2005, yes. 2004 yeah. is when the beta came out, I believe. Yeah, that's right. 2004 was the release date. Yeah, that's right. And then, mm. yeah, because it's 20 Burning years. Legion might have been two or three years later, maybe. Sorry, not Burning Legion. The Burning, um, Crusade, the yeah. Burning Crusade, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, it, it, so uh, for around that time, these graphics, and, and there was no graphics update for this particular thing, by the way, are remarkable. <clears throat> Truly remarkable for, uh, for such, a, such an old expansion. So the bog lords are devouring the small lacks. Small sacks. Small, small lacks. Small sacks. Uh, the small sacks. Did you get them? Yes. Take these. You've done it. I've come up with a new recipe. Sorry. Uh, you've done it. You have my people's thanks. I hope you understand. This is where our young ones come from. We can't let these beasts. And I did say beast, not breast this time. <laughs> devour the sacks. Let's do uh, natural enemies and hand that one in as well. Mm -hmm. How is the bog lord slaying going? Teach those brutes not to come into spoiling territory. 
Yes, it is. You made it back alive! I bet the other Spallings know about you. Neon V. Oh, he walked away, sorry. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God, he keeps moving. Yes. Okay, no, no, there we go. I'll keep reading my fight. <laughs> uh, Neon V. Uh, the Giant Slayer, that's all he said. I handed it in. All right, he says, fine. thank you to our... Uh, thanks to you, our young ones will be safe. Go to Sparga and meet my people. They've all heard great things about you. Right, it's for some reason, I have time. a bubble. Uh, oh, okay. my God, he's got three more. Damn. Uh, no, no, actually, he has one more. These blue quests are reputation quests. And if you look at the chat... Oh, right. So if you look at... Okay, look at my screen uh, for a second. Uh, I'll try. Uh, so it's just spore, spore or gar we need, right? Yes. So more spore okay. sacks and more tendrils. If you have a ba uh, like uh, an inventory bag with these spore sacks and with tendrils, you can turn them in. And if you take a look at your chat, it will tell you probably you are now neutral with spore agar. So Sporagar is a, a reputation in uh, which which is basically the same as as in Final Fantasy XIV. It's a faction, so you grind reputation with them, and with these ones, you will simply grind them by collecting these items, turning them in, and increasing your rep. And in exchange for that, you can buy things. So there's no like. Um, uh, quest after this so it's basically just farming it's a little bit more tedious than early Final Fantasy 14 where you do have like daily quests and whatnot here it's just literally farming you turn it in uh, you get some reputation and then you can buy items so Uh, uh, cool. If you want, you can I, read. I was, I was, um, okay, I'm going to sneeze, hold on. Oh, no worries, what, oh, sure. I'm going to read while I sneeze a minute. Uh, sure, okay. Sporagar. You are a kind night elf, not like some of the others I've met, like Neon. <laughs> you should be the rest of my people. <laughs> and I'll be very grateful for your help. Take these spore sacks to my leader, Mishpin. You'll find him in Sporagar, north of here. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I was trying to sneeze and be quote unquote. Quote I was trying to make you laugh. Unquote, angry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh do you want to maybe turn in the familiar fungi? Um. After you're done sneezing. Uh. So I, I'm done sneezing. I'm actually just setting a load of armor on me. Um. That I've been meaning to upgrade for mm -hmm. like a long time. Okay. Uh, critical strike, no, no, I think I'm good, I'm just making sure that I can sell everything next time, because my inventory is not that clear, but it's fine for now. I like how you say inventory. <laughs> Inventor, inventory! <laughs> mm-hmm, tally -ho. Uh, which quest did we took? We took Sporega, that's well, right. Let's do familiar um, fungi if you want. That one is, I think, one of the conclusions for the, for that lady who is waiting for us patiently. Uh, with the orcs. Familiar fungi, do you yeah. mean? Spor yeah, do familiar fungi first. Yeah, yeah oh. let's not keep her waiting. She has that mean cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, that keeps scaring me. <laughs> right? Oh, that sneeze felt good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I needed that. Peace be with you. Familiar oh, fungi. Do you have those samples yet? We definitely have a match here. And the presence of the ogres and what they were doing there explains everything. Now I get what it's called hen bog. Duh. We have to do something about the situation, but what? We can't just wipe out all those ogres. They have every bit as much of a right to be here as any of the other creatures in the marsh. Go in peace. Priest, mage, I've got an idea. I want you to head north again, this time into the heart of ogre territory. Northwest of the Hunbog, there's a place named Ango. <laughs> I'm laughing because Ango is the name of my dog. <laughs> Oh, I'm aware. Angus uh, stronghold, which sits on a floating island across the large mushroom bridge. The ogres must be storing the harvested mushrooms there. I bet you'll find them all over the place and probably on the ogres themselves too. Bring me a sufficient number and I will try to do something about providing the bog lords with a new source of nourishment. Oh, Yummy. Do you want to do that one that now? Mm, mm, where oh. is it? Oh, I north. I was actually wondering where that is. Um, it's oh, it's, it's on a very north. All the way north, mm. yeah. So do you want to do um, Sporagar first since it's like on the way? Sure, yeah. Like I said, it's this zone is a massive tour. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. 
It's a beautiful zone. What is it that is. on the floor? It's mm -hmm. a glow cap. I saw something on the floor saying glow cap, but it's just like a random thing on the floor. Yeah, there's herbalism to be done here. So some of oh. these mushrooms can be picked up if you have her her herbalism. Herbalism. <laughs> I feel very good about our progress and... Oh, you can't take him out in here, apparently. So, uh, what you want to check out, if you want to, is this Sporgar Quartermaster here. If oh. you're interested. So, um, if you have a, a number of these, let's say these glow caps or whatever... Oh, you're over there. Okay. Yes, I just wanted to show you something. That's okay, I didn't know where you were. Okay. Okay, I'm here. So here, uh, you can check out what there is to be bought. And there are things like recipes, like items and whatnot. And also there's a tiny spore bat, uh, which is a companion, that you can buy for 30 of these, uh, these uh, what, what are they called, uh, glow caps. Uh, I personally don't have oh. them, uh, don't have it yet. I haven't quested here that much. Uh, but it is, uh, it, is, it is a nice little, um, you know, it's a vendor, essentially. So if you ever decide to do a reputation, the quartermasters are the ones normally selling you these uh, cool little items. Uh, for oh. these mushrooms and whatnot so you can turn them in here if you collect 30 or whatever you can get a companion if you you know if you want an appearance some of the appearances that they offer you can also do that and whatnot mm, hello time. hello little guy oh cute you got someone to show me neon they <laughs> they you've helped protect the next generation of spallings in night elf we can only repair night elves. We can only repair you by welcoming you into our homes. Stay for a bit and meet the other spallings. They will have many questions. I hope you don't mind. Uh, friendly gesture and glow cap mushrooms. Both of them are question. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure that none of them are blue. Mm -hmm. I've seen your kind use shiny round pieces of metal to trade for things that you need. <laughs> Money. We're not so different from you. We use shiny round mushrooms as our currency. Low cap mushrooms grow everywhere in the marsh. You just have to know how to pick them from the ground without wrecking them. I'll teach you how to do it if you promise to bring us some of our some of our reserves. What do you say, Neon? They. And then another quest, a friendly gesture. Life in the marsh has not been easy, Neon. They. We want to live in harmony with those that call it home. But our enemies are out here, threatened our existence. Work with us. Help the people of Sporaga thrive! Otherwise, they thrive! So they're basically introducing you to the, uh, like, to the reputation, but through, you know, some of the quests. Mm -hmm. So we already have some of the glow caps that we've collected, but they're going to ask you to get, uh, to get more of them. Uh, this quest is not, sh oh, it is showing up on the map. You can pick it up if you want to. Sure. Fertile spores. Spore, spore bats and marsh walkers accumulate fertile spores in their appendages from wandering around from the tall, tall stalk mushrooms in the marsh. As you can see, we're short people. <laughs> Me and you both, buddy. <laughs> so our options for gathering these spores are limited. Seek out the spore bats and marsh walkers and gather the fertile spores. All of Sporagar will be in your debt. Cute. Right. Very good. Okay, uh, I thought I saw... No, I didn't see shit. Never mind. I'm just double-checking that you can't hear my game. No, I can't. I can't. Okay, good. That's fine. I just wanted to double-check. Um, do you want to head off to do them ones now, or what? Uh, do you want to go north and finish that one that we have and then come oh, back sure. here? Oh, sure. Sure. Good idea, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this kind of tribal music. It's kind of, um, I don't know, peaceful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It is really nice here. Um, since the daylight and night and whatnot work uh, similarly in World of Warcraft as to how they do in uh, technically in real life, uh, there's a chance since we normally play late at night mm. that you will hear the night music of the zones. So, Yeah. Enjoy that forever. 
Uh, I mean, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll change up the schedule a little bit for when we record so we can actually experience some daylight, maybe. Mm, maybe, we'll do some maybe, yeah. Rec- maybe we can do some morning recordings just for a change, because otherwise the recordings will always, always see the nighttime yeah. music and always, always see dark. And it's bad enough that IRL, we're going to see a lot of darkness as well for us. So Maybe when you come here, no spoilers. Oh, this, this, <laughs> this, looks cool, this looks cool down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we can go here because there's Ango's Maulers here that we ah, also need to deal with. Right. <laughs> he was very angry. Very uh, angry. Angry. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't have a target. I don't have a target. Hey, why are you, why are you, why are you hurting me, sir? I'm, I'm much happier in this zone. This zone is actually where, uh, where I belong. Love this zone. I'm so excited to experience new zones with Why you. Why am I fighting all these enemies? Why I'm here too. Me? What? Oh, I'm here. No, they keep aggroing me. Trust me, I'm here too. Oh, they come out of the wall or the box or something. Uh, I, th- I think they just like they just look like they're, they're just spawning literally. Very noisy death. <laughs> right? Damn, very noisy. Like when I die, I don't want to die like that. <laughs> Screaming. It's a bit dark, uh, isn't it? <laughs> I said that was very dark. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, V. <laughs> <laughs> Not your girlfriend talking about her death <laughs> while we're playing a game. <laughs> Fun noise, isn't it? <laughs> sure. I don't have a target. Oh, my target's dead. Dead. I need a target. I need a target. Ah, box of. Oh, they do spawn out of I the. Told out you. Of yeah, they just spawn. Yes, I just never listen, and you're always right. Bad. Yes, they do. Ah, I never said that. I mean, <laughs> I did. I mean, if you're admitting that, I'm gonna discover. Okay. <laughs> Oh, There's... Maldruk the Soul Render. I'm guessing we're gonna come back and kill him later. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Oh, hello. I told you, he spawns. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We probably could have hearthstoned ourselves somewhere, uh, like in the we, we, Sporagar no, no, village. We, we did, um, we did set our, um, uh, the, 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 the heartstone yeah in the wrong trip. place though can, uh, we can go we can go we we did or, but I think it's at the east beacon no did we not set it there yeah uh, what's what's sad is mm. that surely they're gonna send us to kill this mal druk uh, but they haven't done that yet I so I think we're gonna have unless, to unless unless it's one of those quests in the middle yeah <sighs> they're gonna send us here they don't give a shit <laughs> Hundred percent. Because I I have a the memory of this zone being all like, psh, 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 be, be, flying be, be around, all, being all being all now? flying around and no, no, being all what now, V? Nothing. Did you go? Ch- ch- There's a, another mauler. Do we actually? Oh yeah, friendly spores. Not friendly spores. Fertile spores. <laughs> Fertile, because that's the like, same as being be friendly. friendly. Perfect. Not me pressing interrupt buttons like I do on my uh, Feral Druid, which oh, I'm no. playing the current expansion with. It's like, why is this not working? <laughs> We're going the wrong way. We don't need to be going that way, do we? But we do need to kill them. Oh. And Oh, you need 7 out of 10 box of mushrooms. You, you actually still need... I do. Why are you out here? <laughs> Oh, because you are coming out here. I'm sorry, but you can you can kill these, and when the boxes might pop out of them, apparently. These boxes are smaller. Yeah, as I, as I'm hovering over these enemies, these enemies look to be spotting uh, these boxes that you need. You wanna come down? Where? Where are you, are you yeah. outside? Or? Yes, I'm outside. Hello. Hi. I don't see you. 
Because you left me. Where are you? Oh, oh never my mind. God, there we go. <laughs> Every video, guys. Every single video. I'm killing an enemy for you. You left me, she says. He's coming back, though. He said so. <laughs> And I believe him. <laughs> Should I go back in and get my boxes? I thought you were gonna say get my girlfriend. Like, yes, please. <laughs> They're gonna fall out of these guys. Just loot them. I, I think. I think. Oh, Never okay. Mind. I've come back inside. Okay. Okay. Then. I'll I'll go inside with you. It's okay. We can just kill them outside. Do you, are you sure they drop him? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the add on says so, but what do they know? Okay. Box to spawned. Here. Perfect. Grab it. Grab this dude. Grab everyone. Done? No. I've got eight. No. <laughs> no. I've got eight. Hey, there's oh, another one. Oh. Okay. I am pretty sure that they do drop, and there's these ones outside as well, so. Nope, still no. out of time. Oh, fuck this quest. <laughs> I see you blinking. Why are oh, you? Oh, how dare I? Imagine blinking, chat. Oh my god, like. <laughs> Not us calling him chat, and we don't even have a chat. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say. We have a chat. We just can't see it right now. Nine out of ten mushrooms, by the way. Oh fuck this quest, <laughs> as you said. <laughs> Thank God. Not me going back morning. there with you. Everything's been murdered. Not me trying there to peek into. <laughs> there, there is a there is a box, but it's past Soul Soul Reaver guy. Let's go outside. Trust the what system. Again. What a game, Soul Reaver. Trust the system. I bet V doesn't know that game. What, Soul Reaver? Was, what game? She's probably still in the womb. <laughs> Do you even know when I was in the womb? Do you even? Yeah, I do. When was that? I got a box of mushrooms. Let's go! When was V next? in the womb? Which, which one next? Do you know how old I am? Which one you know next? how old I am. Which one? What next? year was I born? Now. 19... 94. <laughs> What's my birthday? 23rd of August. Okay. Which one next? What's my shoe size? Oh, you mean there's a. Oh. Which question <laughs> next? <laughs> <laughs> First house sports. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? Don't. Oh, was it just the music? Maybe the ambience? Like and beyonds. Oh shit, mother! What are you doing? Nothing. Why are you <laughs> running? I fell off. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, we are looking for um, we are looking for the fertile spores. They better be here. Silver bound treasure chest. Oh, what's that? Open it and find out. Can you? I can't because there's loads of enemies. Where? I'm getting attacked. Where? Down there? Where's the chest? Where'd you see it? I don't see it. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go kill them. It's fine. Let's kill everyone. Sure. that bad I can't see shit yoink oh I see the yoink demon yes. hide spalders leather armor mm. do you use leather oh no <laughs> would you like to no it's early Saturday night after all <gasps> okay maybe after the record <laughs> just kidding chat that was what? We don't do that. Ah, that's the end of this video, guys. On, 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 uh, on, on camera. Right now. <laughs> right meow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right uh, meow. I think that fertile spores are in these greater spore baths, to be honest with you. So just kill a bunch of these mother... We have to kill the greater spore baths? 
Uh, yes, I'm getting the fertile spores out of these guys, so let's do that. Yes, beautiful, I yummy. I don't have a target. Do He's too far away. Do we, do we? He lives in England. Do we uh, do we <laughs> Sorry, what? Do we share uh, loot? Yeah, we, uh, we, you, we, I can loot your deads. Your dead. You can loot mine. There's two great spot bats over here. Three, four, five. Um, I am, yes. There is. I feel like I have so many of these, like, somewhere in my bank, on my main. I need to get closer. Not you I, looting, not helping me first. <laughs> I am! Oh, yeah, that's true. You're looting before you even help me kill I am. enemies. I really I am. And then you're stealing my loot. I, I can't Damn. steal your loot. We both get loot. Stealing my kills. There's still two enemies over here, but I don't know where V's going, but she's leaving me to it now. I'm not she's leaving like, I'm not you stealing to... Loot. No, Neon, don't worry about her. I need to target something first. How many do you have? What's with the sigh? Like, I'm getting on your last nerve. <laughs> How <laughs> many five. do you have? How many? Five. I have one. Well, that's your... That's actually oh, my... It's my problem. <laughs> right, I see. Okay. I'm still at one. So, um... <laughs> Are you I'm trying to kill us some enemies. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Says my. Look at how my mount has the same design as this one, because they come from this zone. That's what I was farming. V. Yes. Yes, Can I'll help. Can you tell me? What? <laughs> Can you tell me why you love Night Elf so much? I don't really know, to be honest with you. It's Did just you? a... Mm -hmm. No, 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 I continue. I don't really have a reason, and I don't really know why I created one in the first place. Uh, I'm just... I, I don't know. Just the kind of person or the kind of player that normally is drawn to elves in everything but character, I guess, because I do honestly believe with all my heart that they are pieces of shit when it comes to, um, yes, when it comes to just being uh, very ignorant and self-centered and just, re you know, refusing to be uh, a part of the greater conflict, even though that conflict is inevitably going to bite them in the ass. And at some point, you'll learn the lore of the night elves and, and high elves and whatnot. So you'll, you know what elves are like. I mean, you're a geek, so you, you've, you've seen elves somewhere and you know that they're uptight pieces of shit in pretty much every lore. So they are horrible, but I somehow do really like them because I, I've, I really enjoy the design of druids in this game. And I'm not going to lie, I think that druids have many, many benefits in this game that are a bit unfair as well. And it just felt, felt natural to be a night elf if I wanted to be a druid. And you've seen the quest in Teldrassil, they just, they're just kind of telling you that pretty much all of the night elves are druids. So there's that. Uh, are you done? No, nope, I got no? three. That's great. I have four now. That's awesome. Do you need... Mm. Yes. I still need two, yes, because four means I got four. Yes. Um, so here's another random question that I'm sure many people who know V, who maybe knew or knows that V plays F14. It's also in the title because F14 players play well. Five out of six, by the way. Um, why did you not choose Elizon? In F14, then. Because they're ugly. Oh, I see. 
I mean, they are they are a distorted, uh, uh, foul version of what I would consider to be a night elf. No, no offense to anyone who's playing an Alice, and I'm so, I'm sorry, but you don't look good. You just don't. Um, they have. Many. <laughs> they really. Uh, I was yes, I sold a little bit of junk. It's not my what. Selling junk is allowed without your partner. What? Is it's it not? five out of six, by the way. Okay. That's so the longest quest ever, right? Oh uh, no, I finished it ten minutes ago. Oh! If I can press my stream deck button right now, <laughs> savage! All right, six out of six. I'm out. Done. Peace. Yes, uh, I think we should stop here for this video at least. We will continue should next we time. Right um, to the NPC. Uh, I was gonna not because we also have the oh, glow cap okay. mushrooms to collect, so maybe we can continue here next time if you want and oh, just finish off the quest and whatnot. Okay. If you want, you enjoying Zangarmash so far? I am indeed enjoying Zangarmash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am actually enjoying Zangamash. The quests have been okay. Um, I don't know what it is about WoW, but for some reason, this is so stupid. I really enjoy the quest where it's picked something up. I don't know why. I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love killing things and then claiming it, and I find it satisfying. Saying one out of five, one out of six, I find that satisfying. I also find it satisfying when I see a box and I'm like, oh, a box. Um, I also. <laughs> Loki, one of my highlights in this uh, in this video is that I found a random treasure chest. I just like a random treasure chest. I don't know if this is a thing. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Definitely. Speaking of video, V, over to you. Leave a like on the video. If you if you watch this entire video and if you haven't left it a like, if you're like, okay, I'm not sure if I want to give these people a like, then what are you even doing? I, I don't understand. Don't understand yeah. it. Go <laughs> like this. And look, listen, Mr. or Mrs. Person listening to this, if we know you're lurking, working, I must have to working. If you're lurking and working, why don't you just stop for just three seconds? Make our day by leaving a like on the video. Two, don't three, even have to done. Subscribe, but if you're going to like, you might as well subscribe. And guess what? If you're lurking and working and have enjoyed this background noise, you leave it a like and subscribe. You can also listen to some of the others. Good little background noise. And you can check out the rest awesome. of our playthrough down below where you'll find our part currently probably 65 or 66 by the time you're watching this. Just kidding, you're probably <laughs> you're probably very loyal and you're watching this as a as a part 14 by the time <laughs> it comes out and that's the last one. What? I also will say um, we did just do another reaction video, so it's separate to this series, and um, you know, see our reaction to to some other stuff. Like we've got trailer reactions, we've got like the yeah, we've got, we've got reactions. We should also check out the other videos. Anyway, check check them out, check them out, like them, subscribe. We're gonna stop selling out now. Thank you, Neon, for selling me out. Oh, well, I want to like say one but, more yeah, thing. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> For those who like V and want to see more of V, V has her own other YouTube channel that is Variety. It's uh, outside of MMOs, it's like Persona, a little bit of Final Fantasy sprinkled in. So if you do like V and it's all her, you know, you might Who wouldn't like V? Come on. <laughs> it's a little bit of V on there. It's a lot of V on there. A little bit of me maybe sprinkled in, but it's mostly V's separate channel. It's her own YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, uh, check the links in the um, in the description there and all the links to her social media and all that's there as well. And if you're um, looking for this guy because, here, you can find all of... Because if not, look at her. Subscribe to him too. You can find the links in the description. I always <laughs> faithfully post post them. And I will. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Um... Um, um, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for that's watching. Awesome. Take care. Happy gaming. <laughs> bye bye.